Hey, I'm Nikki, and I'm a self-declared thick girl. But that's okay, I love my curves, and you should too. Yet when I was scrolling for outfit inspiration on Pinterest and YouTube, I couldn't help but notice there wasn't a single person on my side. So I decided to be my own damn model and make a YouTube video that I would want to watch. One where I didn't have to wonder if that outfit would look good on my body type. So that's the video you're watching right now. Thick girls, this one's for you. Let's start off with dresses. Now everyone has their own style when it comes to dresses, but I love this one because of the little floof details on the top. I styled it with this Picnic Bitch bag, my favorite sandals, and I was good to go. Now if you're feeling a little fancy, try layering a sheer top underneath the dress. I thought this one was perfect because the lettuce trend complements those floofs. Add your favorite tan sandals, and now you're ready to go frolic in a park or do any other adult activity. I swear this is my last outfit with this dress, but I was dying to edge it up. To make the dress a little more fall appropriate, I layered this black turtleneck underneath and added some black accessories. In particular, I love this black beaded headband. I ditched the sandals and switched them out for some patterned black boots. And there you have it, a witch-approved fall outfit. Moving our way on over to long dresses, another option I was way too scared of to wear casually. But now I discovered layering <laughs> wow that transition but I paired it with this black belt to try to emphasize my waistline this one was unfortunately way too big for me so I had to kind of like zhush it into place with my bigger body frame I always try to accentuate the tiniest part of my stomach so after an excessive amount of zhushing and adjustments there you had it a slightly tinier waistline I paired it with these pink vintage block heels that matched the dress perfectly and my outfit was complete. This outfit kind of gave me cool teacher vibes and that is honestly an aesthetic I strive for. For another fall approved option, I added this black jean jacket. Then I added these ridiculously hard to put on over the knee boots. I swear finding thigh highs for thick legs is like finding fashion gold. Sizing agendas aside, to add some detail to this outfit, I threw on some black earrings and this star choker. If you're ever not sure of how to style something, matching your shoes to your jacket is a surefire way to make your outfit look a little more cohesive and put together. Have a dress that no matter what you do, the sleeves won't stay up? Try layering! Now those sexy, distracting collarbones are tucked away so boys can focus. I always thought the key to layering this kind of trickier neckline was to stick to the colors that were already within the pattern. So this dress pattern, this is a lovely angle. You can see it has just like that little bit of green in the florals in it, which I chose a green undershirt. To keep the whole outfit casual, I just threw on some white tennis shoes and kept on my green glasses that I desperately need to see, but also kind of give off that more schoolgirl vibe. And there you have it, those are all my dress outfits. Rompers are such an easy go-to because you literally just throw them on, but I think the key to styling them all lies in the pattern choice. This white floral one gave me more of a classy date night vibe, whereas this one gave me more of a western casual feel, so I just emphasized those elements by adding a black floppy hat and brown heels. Rompers are seriously a lazy, thick, short girl's dream. Just make sure you get one in a pattern you like, add some fun sleeves and a defined waist, and you're all set. Okay, now this was high school Nikki's worst nightmare. Skirts. Skirts tend to emphasize this region, which took a lot to learn to love, but it still makes me uncomfortable at times. Because of that, I go back to my basics, particularly these black stomping boots. These boots just make me feel like I can kick all kinds of ass. After that Charlie's Angels tough chick aesthetic, I ended up throwing my hair up into a high pony and added some black accessories. I know I'm acting like a total dweeb, but this outfit really did make me feel badass despite it highlighting one of my most hated body parts. Adding your go-to items really does boost your confidence with your outfit. If you're feeling a little spicy, try pattern mixing. The key here is to find fabrics with complementary patterns. Both of these items have yellow florals, with just varying sizes of the flower. And finding complementary patterns is easier than you think. I decided to only button the top button to show off some of that sexy midriff, and also because I've been seeing it everywhere. Then sticking with the yellow theme, I added these yellow sandals. This one definitely takes some confidence to wear because it does mix a skirt and pattern mixing, but it was genuinely one of my favorites. 
How I just now got into the midi skirt trend, I do not know because of these three factors. One, they are cute and vintage inspired. Two, they're comfy as all hell. And three, I don't have to shave my legs as much. Come on, it's a win-win. I really wanted to show you guys how to do a monochrome outfit and I thought this would be my best bet. So I stuck with all green and just highlighted with some white compliments. I think monochrome outfits are so classy looking and they really aren't that hard to accomplish as long as you have complementary color schemes. It doesn't all have to be the same shade of green or blue or whatever color. Playing around with the pastel colors, I threw on this light blue denim jacket and added these multicolored pastel tennis shoes. This outfit is the perfect example that you just have to stick within a color scheme. This one being pastel, light paleness. It gives me such an 80s mom comfy vibe and is super easy to recreate with your own color scheme. Everyone has their own particular taste in shorts, but I tend to go for a festival cut, meaning typically a raw hem and lots of rips. To create the illusion of longer legs, find shorts that are cut in a downturn C. This cut lengthens the appearance of your legs without exposing too much booty area. To create an all-americana look, I stuck with a simple white crop top and added a cute blue headscarf. Accessories can really make any simple outfit more put together, so find some that fit the look you're going for. I wanted to make this look a bit more boho, so I added these huge, chunky brown hoop earrings. And there you have it, a super easy, casual outfit that you could do anything in, but still look styled and put together. For more of a going out look, ditch the t-shirt for a crop top. I love this one because of the billowy sleeves and ribbed material. Ribbed material is really flattering because it draws the eye down the lines, making the area appear smaller. I love this particular top because of the little bow in the back, but you can easily recreate this look with any cropped up that you already have in your closet. To bring your summer shorts into the fall season, add a chunky neck sweater and some black tights. Throw your hair up into a bun and add your favorite black booties. Cinch in your waist with a black belt, and there you go, now you're ready to go pumpkin picking or whatever other basic bitch pole activity. This is a really easy way to bring in some of your summer pieces without freezing your legs off. To make your super comfy leggings look cute, pair it with a huge oversized t-shirt. Then tie one side of your shirt into a knot. Here I'm just crossing over the fabric, flipping it over, and then sticking it into the one side. And you got yourself a little nubby area. Pair it with some colorful sneakers and an equally colorful hat, and you look like that 80s soccer mom ready to go cheer on her kids. When in doubt, add the denim jacket. This makes it look more put together and less like you just rolled out of bed or got back from the gym. Here is one of my favorite sections, styling some funky pants. I absolutely adore these pants. Just look at them. My legs go for miles. To style this longer silhouette, I chose a crop top that had similar colors as the pants and paired it with these super high blue patent boots to give my legs even more length. Pairing items that have similar finishes like these shiny boots and the shiny pants makes your outfit look more put together and sleek. I absolutely adore this combination. I feel like a 70s goddess. Moving on into some advanced territory people, we're talking color theory. Try pairing together pieces on opposing ends of the color wheel, in this case pairing orange with blue. Finish the look off with some varying shade of nude heels. Last up is jeans. Now I already made a video on how to style vintage jeans, but I do want to show you how I style jeans that maybe are just a tad bit too big for you. What you do is take a thin fabric belt. This one I had left over from a jumpsuit, but you could easily use a piece of ribbon. Tie the belt through the back three loops on your jeans. Then pull the sides till they're even length. Then go ahead and tie those two ends into a bow. Just the top part of your jeans up until you get a paper bag effect. After some adjustments, this is what the back of the jeans should look like. This creates a much more flattering booty shape. Now your once too big jeans have an entirely new silhouette. And that's it. Those are all 20 outfits made for all my fellow thick girls. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want more thick girl fashion. Love ya. Bye.